Welcome to the Upstate CFO Council. This organization was founded in 2019 by Robert Bendetti in order to provide a networking and educational forum for senior financial executives to share best practices, to discuss current financial issues, and to learn about current topics related to the performance of their job. May, good afternoon again. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I got a little technical difficulty there before. I am sorry. We're going to get a second take here. I'm probably going to get the same thing wrong. I got wrong a second ago, which was something that I found out about you, at least from your Facebook page, which is apparently wrong, is that you were born in Cambridge City, Indiana, and you went to Indiana University. Is that where you're from? I was raised in Cambridge City, yes. But I was okay. in Michigan. Cool. Well, now you live in South Carolina. You're the corporate controller of both Caltex and RevMen International. Do you get paid twice for being the corporate controller of both? I do not. I wish I did. I will make a phone call for you. Thank you very much. I'm excited to get to talk to you, and I'm going to get right into it. Question number one. What is your favorite business book and why? Well, currently, I am reading The Fearless by Stephen May. And it was recommended by a friend that works here. And it's, it's about stepping outside of your box and thinking you do what you do. And um, if you mess up, try to ask other people. Um, but in today's world right now, you have to be a little bit fearless to get out and do things. <laughs> Amen. That's true. Wow. That's great timing to read that book. It is. Question number two. What is the best advice that you ever received? The best advice that I ever received was from my mother. And it was back when I started my first job, right out of college. And she said, whenever you get a raise, save it. Mm. On the income that you make now, and in the future, something might come up that you'll want to make the money. But if mm. you save it, you have time, you'll have nothing left. Mm. Ooh, you got a smart mama. I did. <laughs> Question number three. What is a new habit or a new tool that you've recently started using that you want to share with us? Well, just in this situation, we have been using Teams. And hmm. This is my first one with what we're using right now. And it didn't work the first time, and I had to call IT to come out. <laughs> but one of the IT, right? Thank God for IT. One of the things that we have implemented in the business situation, and we've, done, we've been on it, I believe, going on three years now, is de facto. And it's a program that you attach to your financial software. And so we no longer spend hours and hours and hours in Excel doing our financial statement. It's all right there. We push a button, we make a journal entry, we can push a button, and it's all updated. Wow. World of difference in our process. And it was called de facto? Yes. Cool. I'm going to have to check that out. Question number four What is the best part of your job? Best part of my job working here with uh, Redmond International and with Caltech is the fact that everybody here is a family. And don't feel stupid asking a stupid question because they're they're wanting to touch you and, and group room when it comes up in the in the company. Um we have like 130 employees with Redmond and 14 with Caltech. And so I'm in a I'm in a lot of it. It's a lot of fun. Great. What is something that you uh, would like to share about yourself with the rest of the council? I grew up on a beef farm, and I am a two-year member of the race. Wow. I showed beef cattle and horses. By the time I was young, I was 19. 
And I actually heard one year at Indiana University on their Wow, that's really cool. Did you get like a big blue ribbon on your cow? Did you win any awards? I had grand champions a couple of years. It was nice. Wow. What happens? If, do you move up from like state, regional, national? How does that process work? Well, you go from your little city to the state. And once you get to the state, that, that's where we stop because dad was like, I'm not traveling all over the country. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get to go to stay with both cattle and horses, so it, it was a wow. lot of fun. Yeah. Wow, that's really awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. As a young person, not only does that keep your caring for another animal, but you're also having to present, you're speaking in public. What a great, I love 4-H, it's a great organization. Right, right. As I was telling my sister, it helped me a lot in learning how to fill out paperwork. <laughs> We had to keep track of everything in Cal 8 and everything, so it was a lot. Question number six. Last question is, what is something that I should have asked that I didn't, and what is your answer to that question? Well, I think in, in today's world, um, one of the things that we deal with a lot here is, is new hires and how you groom them to move up in, in, in the company. And one of the things that I tell my, my new employees is you have to do more than what your job entails. You have to want to learn what I do. You're going to You need to come ask me if there's something. You can learn and grow and show people very interesting. Amen. That's good advice. Uh, that's that's good for all of us to hear, Renee. And uh, got a new book to check out. I haven't read. I got a new app to check out. And uh, I think you've left us with some really good advice, not only for your new hires, but I think everybody in the council. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you so much, and have a great day. All right. Bye bye.